Hey everybody, it's Dave Duck here at LearningDSLRVideo.com. Not a video tutorial at all, just straight lead photography because I got a real estate shoot coming up and I'm trying to learn how to cut windows out. Um, I didn't flash this or anything, it's just this is just an exercise. Um, probably not the best exercise because I didn't use any flashes interior wise, but okay, let's get started. So there are lots of different methods to do this. And I've tried quite a few of them, but this is the one I found to be the most effective. So I'm just gonna go, oh, before we start real quick, I've tried this and it did not work. Like you see this area right here on the wood, and you can bring the highlights down, but you see now the wood's recovering, but you're, when you bring it down so far, look what's happening. You're getting a lot of purple fringing. Now I could go and correct for that and take the purple fringing out, but you see it's kind of changing to green. There's a little bit of a color shift there. I found it's best just not to play around with that. I'm gonna set reset. And let's go edit in Photoshop. And be back in a second once it loads. All right, we'll take the, the blown out windows, put it up higher. So we're basically cutting these out. And what's nice about not using the recovery tool is um, it makes it much faster to um, pick the area. Now, again, I've said I've done this, and you can see some purple fringing going on. I've done this with pen tool, a whole bunch of different types of selections, but you know what's the easiest? The magic wand tool. I know it gets a bad rap, but when you refine the edge, and this is what I found to be the best calculation, I've tried many different parameters in the last maybe hour or two hours, is a two, four, and two. Say okay, hit delete, hit Control D, I'm on a PC, and voila. And again, we're gonna get rid of that purple fringing later. Um, but it looks pretty good. The only thing I would say, it's not perfect, is you see that little white line right there? So we're gonna do a try it again. Yeah, let's back out a little bit. Let's see if we can get that little white line gone on this one. So real quick, select it. Now if I had done highlight recovery, I'd be like trying to pick out all these branches and it would take forever. And we don't want to select this area up here um, or it'll turn dark. Okay, again, this is more of a brain dump, so the next time I do this, I don't have to figure it out. So what I do now is go two, we'll do four, and we'll do two. This time, I'm gonna do smart radius. And say okay, hit delete, D, and let's take a look. Now I'm still getting that kind of one pixel wide type thing. So let's try again. Next window. Boom. Refine edge. We'll go two. And we'll do five this time. And we'll do two. Um, I've tried increasing the, the this feather number, but it gets nasty. And if you go up to six, it gets nasty. So let's try five pixels for smooth for smoothing. Say okay. Delete. Control D. Zoom in. Uh, yeah, still there. Um, now you might be asking. How does it work on this kind of surface with these curved surfaces? And I've done with the pen tool, try to cut this out. It's such a pain in the butt, it takes forever. Watch this. Boom, just holding the shift key down. Select, select, get the bark of the tree. Um, this area and this area, let's go into here. Maybe even tap on that part. I'm just holding the shift key down, looking around, looks like I got everything. And watch how good of a job it does right here on Refine Edge. Two, we'll go four and two. Now I've tried playing with shifting the edge back and forth to get rid of that one pixel thing, but um, never worked that great. Oops, oh, there it is, Control D. Looks pretty good except for that chromatic aberration. And then let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna do a save, go back to Lightroom, and let's zoom back out. And let's actually zoom back in again. And then let's go chromatic aberration, defringe, and voila. I don't wanna to go too far because it turn, turns green, but go purple there. And right about there. Um, and look at it, and I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, see what it looks like as a final result. 
Um, I did this image before and there it is. I did some correction to it. So um, not too bad. I kind of like this method. I don't know if it's the best one, best one out there, but if you guys could tell me, let me know. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.